We are Alex, Emma, and 10-week-old Noah, and after a few smaller trips nearer to home, we are now ready to go further afield. I feel so stressed. I don't know how people do this. And although we've been traveling as a couple for over 10 years, flying as a family will be a whole new challenge. I cannot believe this day is finally here. We have our baby's first passport and we're going on holiday. Show them how funny the baby passport oh situation is. It's ridiculous. So he gets to have this passport until he's five years old. <laughs> He doesn't even have his eyes open. <laughs> look at this guy. I know. He, he doesn't even look like that now. No. This is what we travel with. When we did the canal boat, we had way more luggage. We have managed to get it down. Yeah. Still a lot. I, th I think this is pretty impressive. So like we would typically travel with two hand luggage bags and two whole bags anyway. So really, the only extra thing is the travel cart and the pushchair. One thing I didn't realize is that a lot of the airlines allow you to bring things like pushchairs, car seats, travel carts, all for free when you fly with them. We are hoping to go to the US in the near future. So we are doing a trip now to test out what it's gonna be like to do a further flight. So we're only traveling two hours mm. to a place with the same time zone as us, and it's a warmer climate. I'm intrigued to see who watching just from that information can work out where we're going before we get there. I mean, they've probably seen it on our social medias already. <laughs> because you're avid fans, right? Follow every move. Funnily enough, the destination we're going, I checked the weather today and it's actually way worse weather. It's basically raining the whole time we're there. Noah has already been to seven countries. He has, whilst he was cooking in here. So the last time Noah was on a plane was when we went to Japan on that little mini series we did in that ridiculously tiny camper van. Now he's with us in real life, half really excited, half really apprehensive. We still have a challenge that this luggage here has to fit in our comically sized car. Yeah, there is that. Shout out to all the dads that hate doing more than one trip. I will suffer and just do one trip instead. Oh guys, this little man is teething and he is having a really tough week, aren't you mate? Yeah, so we're a little bit worried we're gonna be that couple on the flight because he is not feeling his best right now, bless him. We are definitely going to be buying a family car in the very near future. Yeah, we can't keep doing this. No, it's funny. Everyone said like, oh, it will drive you nuts. And we're like, oh, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. It's driving us nuts. <laughs> Constant Jenga. Shove. Going on an adventure? Yeah, your first flight. Ah. Yeah. We're ready. First stop is to rejig because my mum is actually going to take us to the airport because we refuse to pay the airport parking. We only live 25 minutes away from the airport, but it's £260 for two weeks to leave our car there, or it's free if you cash in mummy. <laughs> <laughs> it's not going to be the comfiest drive. <laughs> Look at Emma's situation. Yeah, I've got the suitcase there, my legs wedged there. I'm going to have my legs <laughs> wedged up like this. <laughs> Another reason for a family car. Hiya! Hello! I just, I'm pinching myself that we're actually here going away with Noah on a plane. This feels real, like we're traveling for real again. I hope he doesn't give me a complex about traveling with the baby. I know, fingers crossed it all goes well. passport works but he's got other plans yes poor guy he's just not a happy chappy today it just happens to be the day we're taking our first flight with him not ideal
how are you enjoying this experience so far? Oh my god, it's so stressful. I mean, it wouldn't be stressful if he wasn't teething and miserable and he was sleeping, it would be fine. But I just, I feel so stressed. I don't know how people do this. Well, don't worry, because we just had a message say the flight's delayed until 20 to 11 tonight. <gasps> no! So we've got loads of time to relax. Oh my God. <laughs> Welcome to the world of flying, buddy. Oh. Thing is, if it was just us, I wouldn't care that much. But this poor guy, his flying. sleep's going to be so messed up. We're flying till 20 to 11 means we're going to get in at like one in the morning. Jesus. And then hopefully we can get our hopefully car Hopefully we rental. can get our car. It's only up from here. Well, actually no, <laughs> it could be worse. I'm learning that you bring your spare clothes on the plane with you. <laughs> Otherwise you get covered in baby juice. I'm so stressed. Whenever I see the parents with the crying baby on a flight, I'm, I always feel so bad for them. We're trying a dummy for the first time. Yeah, I've heard that it can help with the, um, the pressure with the ears, the sucking motion when going up and down. And also, I guess it's the added bonus of soothing them. So, um, we'll see if it works. There's so much noise and sensory stuff. I know, he's probably like sensory overload. You made it. I know. What started out to be kind of a stressful day turned out to be okay. So Noah slept the whole flight oh. minus one screaming session. Yeah, and that was over in like 30 seconds. It is now 1.20 in the morning. Yeah, so he should be asleep. But <laughs> we're getting picked up by this shuttle right here to go and get our car. Oh, I'm so pleased this is all working out. We had a bit of a panic, didn't we, that the uh, car hire company was actually going to be closed because our flight got delayed. We booked a car seat so we would feel comfortable to get Noah to the hotel. So we thought if we were going to miss our booking, then we didn't know because I don't know how it works with taxis and car seats because we never had to do it. No. And at 1.20 in the morning, how easy is it going to get a bespoke baby seat taxi? <laughs> I think you're technically allowed to go in a taxi without a baby seat, but I don't know how comfortable I feel doing that. But we are here in country number one with yeah. Noah. He's got his first passport stamp. Wow. One of many. We decided to rent an actual family car. So actually we can see what this is like and then maybe we should buy something like this. <laughs> Bad news <laughs> is we have to put it in ourselves. It makes sense because legally they just said if anything happens, then they're responsible. But we we've need never to start. done this, have we? We've got to get googling, YouTubing, Don't figure this out. Don't have a man that can do it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is like major dadding right now. <laughs> oh, well, I'm doing it. <laughs> I knew Alex would expect me to do it because with all this kind of stuff, I actually quite like doing it. You're not the most handy man. And I... <laughs> you look terrified. Yeah, I don't know why I would be learning to be a handy man at this point with I've... our son's life in my hands. I've never put a car seat in a car before. Yeah, but I saw you give birth to him. <laughs> I'm more than capable. You're way more than capable. You might be wondering how did we get a seatbelt in our car at home? We paid someone professionally to do it, so we never had to think about this. We're good? I think so. Oh, hey! <laughs> the travel gods have been good to us today, mate. Now that we're here, are we actually going to tell them where we are? Yeah, we're in Portugal.
before we go any further, we would like to say a huge thank you to NordVPN for sponsoring this video. If you're not already using a VPN, you are putting your data and personal information at risk every time you use the internet without one. Using a VPN encrypts your data, keeping your information safe from viruses, scammers, and thieves. You might think we're being paranoid. Definitely not. We had a terrible experience after using airport public Wi-Fi, where our bank card details were hacked and we had to go through the whole palaver of sorting that out whilst on holiday. This is known as a man in the middle attack where the hacker is quietly intercepting your data without you knowing about it. This added so much stress to our trip and the frustrating part about it all is that it could have been so easily avoided if we just used a VPN. NordVPN is the fastest on the planet and can also help with things like finding the best prices for flights and other bookings. Doing this is really easy. Simply use Nord to connect to a server in another country and make sure to clear your browsing cache before searching for your next holiday and you might be surprised by some of the prices you can get. If you're interested in giving NordVPN a try and supporting this channel, be sure to use our personalized link for an exclusive offer. That's nordvpn.com forward slash travel beans. It's a 30 day money back guarantee, so why not give it a try? We will leave a link down in the description below. Good morning, mister. It is our first morning here in Porto. We have this lovely Airbnb. It is only 60 euros a night and it is absolutely huge. You could swing a baby in here. We have a very dribbly, teething, happy Noah this morning. Yeah. And a lovely balcony with some <laughs> soiled baby clothes. Good morning. Good morning. Hello, YouTube. Hello, Porto. This feels so surreal that we're actually away, like away away, not just some campsite in England away. We're actually <laughs> yeah. abroad. It's funny, being away from home is for me the most homely feeling on the planet. <laughs> we have been always on the move for 11 years. So it's probably no surprise that that actually is what makes me feel very comfortable. I have learned from the last couple of months that never make any plans to do anything <laughs> because we won't get to do them anyway. And to save myself disappointment, we have no plans for the whole day. It's just gonna be acclimatized to being in Porto and in Portugal. I need to go and check on the car to make sure that I haven't got loads of tickets because I forgot, because although I couldn't see any signs to say that we can't park there, I don't know if we can and I kind of forgot. So I'm gonna go and check now. The car is all good, thankfully, and I managed to find someone selling pasta donatas opposite the car. So I'm gonna go surprise Emma. I know she loves these things. She's been talking about how much she wants them. And because it has already gone past lunchtime, I know she'll be hungry. One euro. Yes. You're the best. I'm defeated you. No, it's fine. I can do it. I'm not sure whether the cobblestones are going to be a good thing, as in they'll rock him to sleep, or a bad thing and wake him up. <laughs> Just come across the weirdest car on our walk, and it's like a smart car, but kind of like with house windows. It's very odd, isn't it? We finally found a car that's smaller than that thing we slept in in Japan. <laughs> <laughs> my favorite things to do when traveling is stumbling upon little markets that you have no idea are there. This is no exception. We've just bought ourselves a fresh squeezed juice for two euros. I absolutely love finding little bargains in places like this. Absolute bargain in absolute bargain. England that would be minimum five, six pounds. Yeah, especially with the ingredients. What we've we got, strawberry, mango, and passion fruit. What a combination. This is so good. This is definitely a bit of an upmarket market. Just behind me, you've got a wine bar, you've got oyster bar, seafood all around. It seems like a place to come and hang out more than just to come and buy a weekly shop. I've decided to be brave and to try something new because Porto is famous for its seafood 
and I'm going to try a little selection and the thing I'm most scared for is sea urchin. Didn't even know you could eat them. They don't look very appetizing. I mean the whole spiky thing. <laughs> but in theory then that means the goo is lovely. <laughs> it's got to be gooey right? <laughs> it has been a long time I think since I've gone out of my comfort zone and eaten something weird on camera. <laughs> My suspicions were correct. It's very gooey inside. Oh yeah, that does look gooey. I mean, I gotta poke it. <laughs> Sometimes you guys actually push me out of my comfort zone because I guarantee I would not eat this if it wasn't for this camera. Okay, see you on you the other it. side. It's like a gooey seawater. <laughs> Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Well, I mean, you know, like I've had oysters before and they're, they're like a gooey seawater too. It's Isn't like- they different types of goo? Yeah, definitely a different type of goo. <laughs> <laughs> I would love to know, are you someone that would try this? It's 10 euros for this selection of goo and 250 for a glass of wine to, to wash it down with basically. <laughs> We didn't come to Portugal just to have lovely pastries and other snacks. We have actually come here for a bigger reason. Yeah, we are very excited. Do you want me to hold this? Because you can't hold a camera yes. for more than a few seconds. <laughs> I don't know, I'm getting hench lifting the baby up all the time. <laughs> the real reason we are here is we want to, over the next week or so, explore the possibility of what it would be like if we were to buy property or land here in Portugal. Oh my goodness, this is something that we have been talking about for years and we're finally in the position where we can start to consider pulling the trigger and actually doing this. It's still going to be a bit of a lengthy process because from what we've heard from other people it's not something that can just happen overnight so we figured we may as well start early and start looking now so we can actually get the ball rolling if we decide to do it. We really fell in love with the idea a couple of years ago when we came here and specifically in a rural setting. That is what we're going to be looking at. We have dreams of a place by the water. It might be nothing, it might be a holiday home or it could be a base in our home life for our future trips. It's all very up in the air at the, at the moment. We haven't made any decisions on it. Um, we're just kind of going to explore it, see how we feel about the whole situation and take it from there. Now don't worry, I know a lot of you be like, but what about your lovely camper vans? Well, there is one waiting for us in the US yes. and after this trip, as far as we're aware, <laughs> that is where we will be going next as well. Very excited to get back out there and explore in Phoenix once again. This is going to be such an exciting year. You know, already we've had the arrival of Noah, which has just been unbelievable. And then on top of that, we might be buying land in Portugal. We get to go out to our camper van in the US and explore. I'm on cloud nine right now. We mentioned in a previous video, we are looking for where we'll set our roots and we're never gonna be staying in the same place for a long period of time, but we do like a nice place to go back to and hopefully that is what we're gonna find. If you like the video, give us a big fat thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe and let us know in the comments, do you have any tips for flying with babies? Because we're not naive. We're not gonna think that's gonna be this easy every time. <laughs> and to make the flight out to the US is gonna be a lot longer. So I'm still dreading that. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So any tips would be greatly welcome. Anyway, nothing left to say, but thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time and beans out! Make sure to check out today's sponsor, NordVPN, to keep your information safe online and get a 30-day money-back guarantee as well as a subscription that costs the same as a cup of coffee per month. Not only can Nord protect your data online, but it can also help you to save money on your next holiday by using it to find great prices. 
get your exclusive Travel Beans offer using our link in the description down below.